Hey guys, Melissa here. Um, <clears throat> I have a, a mini album slash altered art kit that um, I'm going to show you. And what I'm going to do is uh, a real quick run through because uh, I can only download videos up to 10 minutes. And then I'll do a second video that goes into a little more detail if we're actually interested and um, you know want to see things more detailed then uh, you can watch the second video so um, this is going to be a album using the um, 8x8 um, 7 gypsies lily paper and it will be a canvas album that is 6x5 and 6 pages a small shadow box, uh, the Michaels balsa box, a small little flower box, and that'll be it. And then the flowers, the stuff to make pins and charms, and then all of this stuff plus a bunch of uh, um, old pages and etc etc so I'm gonna go through real quickly uh, first off the paper um, there's 12 pieces and it's um, as I said 8 by 8 and there's two of us uh, each design and there's six designs there's the back I'm getting lost here. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, I already did. Flipped it over like that. Okay. That's what I did. So this is, I guess, the front and the back of the paper. So there's the paper. Um, here is the canvas for the mini album. There's, like I said, um, six, that's a fuzz, six, um, five by six pieces plus an additional, uh, three by six. So you can use that as a take or a half page or whatever. Um, and then the ball, the little shadow box is about eight by five. I'm guessing. And just a quick uh, idea. This is what I did with one of them. And then there's little um, hooks at the top and I tied a ribbon at the top. So that's what I did with mine. Um, for the charms and uh, um, pins that you can make there's a bunch of pearls, there's a butterfly charm, there's uh, I think in total six bead caps and then there's a butterfly charm here, a little silver one um, there's there's um, four um, stick pins with the uh, pearl at the top there's one of these and this is a Teresa Collins, I just got these today but they're really cute. So there's one of those. Um, there's a couple of these circle things. There's a bigger one and a smaller one. There's 12 inches of silver chain. Um, and then there's a bunch of like little uh, head pins and those things. And then some of uh, these little jump rings. Oops. And then there's just some really pretty beads. Uh, just a variety of sizes and colors. For flowers, there's just a variety of, uh, you know, wild orchid craft, cr wild orchid, wild orchid craft, and um, a couple prima and recollections and that kind of stuff. Um, there's a uh, 12 by 12 piece of this crafter's lace, and uh, one end of it is is the end where it actually has that at the uh, bottom and then here's the lace these are all um, 18 inches in length so there's that 
Uh, here's all the goodies. There's a uh, Teresa Collins frame, a uh, little spool. There's some tiny little um, chess pieces, um, some dominoes in black, and then there's one small um, domino. There's a bunch of wood uh, domino or wood uh, letter or numbers in this size and then the smaller size. There's like five of each. Um, buttons, a key, um, metal flower with a bling in the middle, some more charms, uh, Tim Holtz, um, um, fragment charm, some of these things here, the new pen nib, a little metal, uh, magnet closure for a necklace. A bunch of tattered angels um, pieces here in the um, frames. Um, spring spelt out in these letters. Uh, a vintage handle. Some of the Tim Holtz dress forms. One is covered with a book page, a vintage book page. This really cool metal um, flower with the clip at the top. Um, a pearl flourish. Twelve uh, extra large eyelets. A bunch of little just metal pieces, a clock, a hanger, um, some words, a word stick, a philosophy tag, and then a bunch of uh, envelopes that you can fold, some of the uh, recollections, birds and butterflies, um, tickets and file folder, a little bag with a tag, some journaling tickets. By Tim Holtz. Um, this stuff here. A tag and a bag again. Um, for the die cuts, I've got um, that, this little, um, that, <laughs> that. I'm just trying to quickly go through flowers, keyhole, um, uh, frames, whoops, a tag with a uh, chair cut into it, then you got the chair, and then you got a bunch of small dress forms, and the small um, frames, and some little tiny scissors that I cut out on my Cricut, that, this really cool lattice type thing. Um, this I got today at one of the Vinches stores by my house, and it's a booklet of uh, postcards from Paris from 1919 and here are all the images and I know I'm skipping through some of them and you're, you're not I paid like $30 for this so you're not going to get the booklet but I am going to take this up to the Photoshop by my house and um, have copies made so you will get a copy of each of these images that are in here so I believe there's at least 20, and they're all about Paris. It's a Paris uh, book. So they will be this size. The uh, copies will be the, the correct size, and I will put it on thick paper, but you're going to have some really cool images, and if you want, you can photocopy them and continue to have them. So... Um, they are, uh, old postcards. I mean, this thing is so freaking cool. Anyways, um, you'll also have a couple of the new glassine paper by Tim Holtz. This stuff's expensive. Don't know why. I haven't used it yet. Bunch of vintage book pages. Some of, uh, this stuff here, whatever that is. And a couple big, uh, music sheets. So this is the only kit I'm going to have available, and um, I will put the information on my blog. Um, oh, you know, I may not need to do a second video. I think this will be good enough. Uh, if you're interested, again, just uh, go to my blog, and you can purchase it from there. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.